Hi, my name is Keith Cooper from North Flight Images and uh, in this short video uh, I'm going to look back on 15 years as a professional photographer. A lot of people ask me about becoming a photographer, I've written articles and done videos about this, but this is really um, what have I learnt? What almost do I wish I could say to myself back in 2004 when I started up as a professional photographer? And uh, so it's just a sort of collection of, of bits that I think have been important from a business and personal point of view. Hope it's of some interest. There are um, written articles and other things on the Northlight site which expand on stuff like this in more detail. But anyway, um, number one decision is, is it a job or is it a business? Now, a job is something you do, you get paid for, and then you go away from. There's nothing left from it. A business is an entity in its own right. Now, in the case of Northlight Images, it's a limited company in the UK, uh, so it has to do accounts and various other things like that. It means I'm a director of the company. Now, that, and also because I'm a commercial photographer, being VAT registered, which is a uh, UK sales tax, um, that has been a real positive boon for the business. Uh, just one simple thing, if I buy a new camera, I get the VAT back. That's 20% currently. Um, of course, you have to charge VAT on jobs, but if, for myself, most of our clients are commercial entities themselves, businesses, uh, they can reclaim the VAT anyway. Um, so they don't see it. So if I uh, quote somebody a thousand pounds plus VAT, they pay a thousand pounds plus VAT, we get the VAT from them and we pass it on to the taxman, they reclaim that VAT themselves. So to them, it's a thousand pounds. If you're going to work with members of the public, so if you're a wedding portrait photographer, then that tax is a, it cuts into your earnings. So it's quite important to decide where your business is going to go. Now, you don't have to do this immediately, but um, I already had a business um, that I could run as Northlight Images, and that really helped. And that's uh, been very useful over the years. One other thing is, it's a business. The business is not taking photos. The business is supplying images as a product. Now, I grasped this fairly early on because I did a business plan, fairly broad um, outline of a business plan before I set it up, but I did a business plan and that's an important thing and I'm really glad I did that. I know some photographers wing it a bit and change things. Well, you can change it because you incorporate the concept of change and development in your business plan. You plan for change. Doesn't mean you know what that change is gonna be, but you plan for how to handle it, and that makes a difference as well. Uh, from a business uh, point of view, it's important to remember that what matters is not turnover, but profit. Because profit is what pays to keep the lights on in my house and various other things. Puts food on the table. Um, if you don't make a profit, then you're, you're not going to last long. Um, and as part of setting up the business, I looked very closely at what profit I would make on jobs. And that includes not pitching too low for jobs. Uh, realistic prices bring you in money, they make you a profit. It also comes down to knowing how much work you can actually do. Um, I've covered these in other, other videos about the business of photography, but this is an important thing that I think I knew then and I took care to think about it in advance. Something I would go back and tell myself is every time you think you've done enough marketing, you haven't, do some more. Um, there may be ways, but I can't think of a way I could do too much marketing. Um, well, too much effective marketing. Uh, that's the other thing. Make sure that any marketing you do choose to do is effective. That means you need to have uh, some way of measuring whether it works. 
Um, so uh, having your photos put up on the wall somewhere in a restaurant, you might think, oh, that's marketing, okay? Evaluate it. How many print sales did you get? How many people did you get contact you saying, oh, I saw your photograph when I was having a meal the other day or something. I'm gonna say it's gonna be precious few. Uh, that's an, a marketing outlay that you may wish to do on occasions, um, but something that needs considering because marketing that doesn't uh, isn't measured and you can't check whether it was effective is not useful marketing. So I would go back and say, do more marketing. Um, the other key thing is enjoy it. Uh, I made a point when I set up the business of deciding that I wasn't going to do excessive amounts of work. Um, I planned only a few jobs a week at absolute most, on average. Now that doesn't mean I might not work solid for a couple of weeks. I had some product photography work came in that had thousands and thousands of precision macro shots to be done. That was as tedious as anything. But every time that shutter clicked, there was a mental ka and um, it paid very well. Specialist work does, which is the other thing, avoid generalization too much. If you can specialize, try it. That also means that you really need to have the technical expertise to do uh, the kind of specialist work you want. You can't just pick up any old camera and start doing uh, photography for architectural photography. Well, you can, but it's just at a certain point, you're gonna run into limitations. Similarly, uh, color management is a vital part of what I do. Nobody pays me extra because of the color management that I apply in my workflow. But I'm convinced that the results are better and that makes people more likely to come back. Now, there's one other bit on that. I enjoy all this tinkering as well. It's why I do these videos. It's why I write the articles, and in a way, it's why I wrote my book on how to use tilt shift lenses. But really, there's not that much I would change in the 15 years. The biggest one is marketing and revisiting your business plan and thinking about it as a business. Now, there we go. I'm not sure how much longer I shall keep on running photography business. Probably uh, a while yet. I'm only just 61. Um, so I have, uh, I'm hoping, years of photography left in me. And I don't see why I shouldn't make some money doing what I enjoy. Sorry, rephrase that. Make a profit from doing what I enjoy. Anyway. I um, hope these short videos are of use. Um, do subscribe to the channel. Um, there's lots more of them and there's loads more stuff on the Northlight Images website. So thank you.